For our today's video, we are gonna show you one of the most beautiful places that we have in Prague at night. We've never taken a walk like that at night before on this channel, but this is actually a tradition that we have because after Christmas, this is the time to meet your families and friends and usually you go for a walk, uh, see some beautiful sights, grab a hot wine and have dinner together. So this is what we're gonna do today. Let's go! Okay, so before we go down the stairs to Novi Svet, we should check out one view. It's right over there. It looks very creepy. This viewpoint is an absolute favorite of Prague's photographers. But you have to go behind the fence to get there. Have we? No, of course not. It's just your imagination. If you have been here during the day, you have to come back nevertheless for the evening walk. At night, Novi Svet becomes even more magical and mysterious. Novi Svet is this very cute romantic area uh, right on the edge of the historical city center. And yeah, this view definitely adds to the romantic mood here. And now to the best part, the hot wine. The reason why we came here. I'm glad we are taking the stairs down, not up. Okay, this is our next stop, Romantic Hotel Uraka, which means cancer. And that does not sound very romantic to me. Cool fact, Lobster Hotel is the only timber building in the historical city center. In the evening, Hotel Uraka attracts a lot of Czechs. Not because they have lobster claws, ayo, but because they come here for hot wine. This is where they have one of the most delicious hot wines in Prague. It's definitely not the cheapest, but I love to come here every year for hot wine, especially in the end of December, even though there are not so many decorations here anymore because it's already after Christmas. It definitely has a very nice atmosphere, this place. So finally, let's go for hot wine. <laughs> Oh, it's the best. <laughs> Oh, can I have it every day? Twice a day. The only problem is that I think I'll be drunk after this because I didn't have any food yet. <sighs> Looking forward. If you don't like hot wine, which is the number one choice over here, and this one, you can also have hot chocolate or hot chocolate with eggnog or hot pear, which is hot pear juice. <laughs> and also they have it with rum here, grog, which is not my favorite, but I know some people like it, tea, of course, pretzel. They are freshly baked here, croissant and coffee. A warm beverage will allow us to explore Novi Svet a bit longer. You won't meet a lot of people here, 
the inhabitants of Novi Svet are quite proud that they are still able to preserve the atmosphere of this hidden quarter. Even though nowadays it's not a poor people's neighborhood, but rather the opposite. Looks like a place where you can get murdered. Yes. Let's get murdered. <laughs> Okay, and we made it to Loretta. It's a beautiful church complex. It has a lot of things inside, but perhaps the most well-known thing about Loretta is its carillon. It's a Baroque musical instrument that consists of 27 bells. You can see them on top of that tower over there. And every hour from 10 a.m. till 5 p.m. in summertime, they are playing a beautiful melody. They actually change the songs for every holiday. But in winter they don't do that, and sometimes you can see people here standing waiting for the melody to play, and yeah, it doesn't happen, so it's a big bummer. Okay, bye bye Loretta, but now I have to climb these stairs, which I am not so excited about, but oh well. Okay, hot wine magic has worn off. Time to get a dinner. And there is no better place in this area than Strahov Monastery. You just have to climb another flight of stairs. During the day, Strahov attracts tourists because of its stunning library, Baroque Basilica, and a picture gallery. But now it's all closed up until the morning, and the only place we can go to is the brewery and the restaurant. I'm not mad at it. Today we're choosing a gastronomical experience over the cultural one. This is a traditional Czech restaurant, so if you're a vegetarian you have only two options – pickled cheese and beer. I'm gonna get Svichkova, Vatsov will go with goulash. Don't worry, we are gonna make a video about Czech food in the future, but for now remember this place if you wanna try these two dishes. This is how you shouldn't leave your meal. This is how you should leave your meal. All right, with the warm food in our bellies, we can check out the view from Strahov Monastery's vineyard. This street looks nothing special, but it actually brought back some memories. I used to work for a different company, and when we would do a tour to the Prague Castle, we would take a bus there. The bus driver would always take the same road, but uh, one day he decided to change it up, and he was bringing us up the hill here, and then the bus stopped, and he said one minute, and he got out, and he had uh, two very large bags, probably full of cash, that he just handed over to my boss and then he got back to the bus and he was like all right let's continue like nothing happened and that was very awkward guys because clearly everybody knew that it was some kind of money laundry that we were involved in <laughs> okay now we have to make it back to the castle district we have two options the longer one down and up the hill or the stairs <sighs> nope We've made it to Nerudva Street. If you're too cold at this point, you can run downhill to the nearest tram stop. 
but we will go up the hill. Okay, fine. Oh no. <laughs> It will never end. It will never end. <laughs> and just like that, we are at the castle district square. Gosh, I'm out of breath. Let's try to check out one more place before it closes, St. Vitus Cathedral. Only during the night you can see the decorations of the cathedral so beautifully illuminated. The castle is open till 10 p.m. though, so don't plan a late night walk here. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye!